Hello! I had another video for you today. I had another idea. I was like, you know what, I've got something else that I can talk to people about. So, uh, one question that I get quite often as well is about alerts on your stream. How do you get the pop-ups on the screen for, like, latest follower, subscriber, donation, buying merch, that sort of stuff. Um, a lot of you may already know, a lot of you may not know. I use a service called Streamlabs. Streamlabs is really cool, it's free. Um, it's all web-based. You sign into it with your Mixer, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. You sign into it with your account. It links to your channel. It tracks all of those alerts, all those, like, events that happen in your stream. And it can output them to your stream as well. So, what I'm going to show you in a really quick video today is how to get started with Streamlabs, how to get set up on it, that sort of stuff. It's really easy, really. So, here it is right here. Obviously, I haven't logged in yet, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to log in with my mixer right here. And it should just, it remembers I'm logged in on mixer already. And we're straight in right there. So you can see the stats from my stream today. We had a good stream today. We had a couple of subs. We had some hosts. We had a lot of follows as well. It was a good stream. So you can see analytics. You can customize it for, say, like the year. We can customize. We can see, say, like this year, we've got over nearly 54,000 followers. We've got like nearly like over one and a half thousand subscribers over 20,000 hosts as well so yeah and it can track events it's pretty cool the sort of stuff you could do say subscribers hosts follows that sort of stuff it's, it's really amazing what you can do and you can track by like month on month how your follows have been so you can see it goes like up and down quite a lot as well that's just the analytics the most important thing that obviously we're talking about is alerts so if we scroll down we've got these widgets right here so I use a few of these. I use the alert box for basically the pop-ups on the screen. So for follow, host, dono, sub, that sort of stuff. You could do goals. So you could do like a donation goal. You could put a bar on your screen for like how many donations you've got. And um, basically like um, if you're raising money for something. Stream boss is a cool thing that when people follow and donate and sub and stuff, it puts a boss up there. And um, the health knocks down every time someone follows. You have a chance of being the next stream boss. This is like a cool little interactive thing. Event list is like a list that shows like who followed recently, who subs, who donated recently. It shows a list on your screen. The jar is a little bit as well when people do that. It puts a little thing in the jar and then the jar overflows. It's just a cool little interactive thing. Stream labels can do things like um, where you see on people's screens where it says like latest follower, latest host, donation, that sort of stuff where it shows a username. That's what stream labels does. Um, we've got chat box as well, which shows chat messages. You can put someone's chat box on the screen. So, like, for me, for example, um, I have it on, like, my getting started screen or whatever. It shows the chat messages down the side. That's using that chat box. We've got view account as well, if you really want to put a thing on there saying how many people watching. I personally don't think you need to because the stream already shows it below it. Sponsor banner is another one that I use as well. So, at the top right of the screen, not on this scene, but on other scenes, it shows, like, rotates through my sponsors. And you could do that as well. And all these are really easy to configure. All of them are browser sources. If we open one up like this, this is widgets right here. If you use Streamlabs OBS, you can pre-pick like custom made widgets. My ones are a bit different. My ones I got from a website called nerdledie.com and they use HTML and CSS and I customize them myself. And the way the widgets work are really easy. You can see like down here, you can customize, say for follows, you can see you can pick pictures, you can pick the animation of how it appears on the screen. You can play sounds right there. I've not got sounds on because I got to a point where I was getting so many at once, it was just like overwhelming. But you can upload like audio files to play sound and you can pick a duration as well. So like 12 seconds was a max on there. Um, this is like the HTML that mine uses right here. So these are how my alerts work. It's all this code right here, which probably doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people. But yeah, that's basically how that works. Um, you can customize all of them through here as well. You just go through the tabs and you customize them. You upload pictures, all sorts of stuff, whatever you want. This is how you customize your alerts. And then the more important thing up here is up here. This is the widget URL. So in Streamlabs OBS, XSplit or normal like regular OBS Studio, you have to, to get these alerts on the screen, you add a browser source. So in sources, right click, add a source and select browser source. You copy this URL right here. I'm not going to click it to show you because that would link my alerts to your stream if you, if you really wanted to do that, but I don't see why you would. You click copy right there. That copies the URL. You paste that as the browser source. That means any alerts that come through, they'll appear now on your stream. Just like that. If you want to test it, they've got test options here. You can click like test follow. You can see just up here, you see the little follow thing appears on my screen right there. 
and there it is right there. So apparently I just followed myself, which is kind of weird. We could do donation as well. And you hear I've got a bit of audio on my donation as well. And right there, test donation right there. We could do things like merch as well. I haven't customized this one, so this is a default looking one. It actually shows what they've bought and it shows a bit of info as well. Um, say for sub as well. You could do it right there and you could trigger it off, same sort of thing. So these alerts, obviously these look different because I got them off of Nerd or Die and customized them myself. By default it would show text and a picture, you can customize the text, the font, animations, that sort of stuff. And that's how you set up Streamlabs OBS. Well, Streamlabs alerts, but it's the same with all of them, if you go into goals as well. Donation goal, they all work in exactly the same way, you get a preview of what they look like, you could test them. And you just copy the URL, add it as a browser source. Same with, say, Streamboss. It gives you a little introduction how to do it as well, what it is about, which I think is really cool. You see a preview, you can copy the URL, go in OBS, set a browser source, paste it in there. It's as easy as that, you can do it with any of these. Sponsor banner, one that I use as well, gives you a little preview. You can see the diff this is the preview right here of what it looks like as well. You can see the different images that I've uploaded right here. Easy as that. To put it in OBS, copy the browser source, put it in there. It's as straightforward as that really. That is how to get alerts or other interactive things on your stream. If you want to put a chat box, if you want to put alerts, if you want to put a draw, a donation goal, whatever you want to do. It's as easy as that really. So, that's that with Streamlabs. So thank you so much for watching. If you've got any other questions about Streamlabs, I'm a Streamlabs All-Star so I will do my best to help you as much as I can anyway. Um, you can put questions and comments down below on YouTube. If you go on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, send me a message on any of those. Or jump in my streams, mixer.com forward slash smiler. And you can fire questions there as well. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in another video very soon. Thank you.